Right, hi everyone. Um, so the fifth program is about, it's a sales prediction program. And basically, a company makes, uh, generates 62% of total sales. And it wants us to figure out basically how much is 62% of 4.6 million. So say, say if the company makes 4.6 million in sales, um, we should write a program that predicts or that figures out what is 62% of uh, 4.6 million. So this program has more to do with numbers than the previous ones, which were just printing out. Over here, we're just going to do some calculations and, and print, out, print out two. Right, so I'll just go ahead and start. Um, so I'll create a class. And I'll call it um, sales prediction. And then I'll create the main method. Okay, so um, first of all, I'd like to store the 4.6 million in a, a variable, in a double in a double variable. So I'll declare a variable. I'll just say declare variables. And then I'll store I'll store that I'll say double total sales is equal to 4.6 million. And then I'll do that. I'll I'll initialize it too. That's that's what I've just done. And the next thing to, to, to do is to, is to figure out what is the 62%, right? So over here it says use the value 0.62 to represent 62%. So basically, 62% um, is 62 over 100. And when you punch in 62 over 100 on your calculator, you get 0 0.62. So 60, 0 0.62 is equivalent to 62%, right? And 62 to write 62 percent of a number, it's just by using the multi multiplication sign. So it's going to be 0 0.62 times 4.6 in this case, this number. It's, it's the same as saying 62 over 100 times 4 um, 4.6. Now you can you can certainly do something like this. Now let me just comment this out. You can certainly do something like this. You can say 62, sorry, 62 over 100, all, all in parentheses, times 100. But the way <coughs> Java works, it's th this is fine, you know, when, when you look at it from the math point of view, it's fine. But the way Java works is this. Now, because this is an integer and this is an integer, it sees this as an, an in integer division. So what's going to happen is this. The answer for this is going to be 0 0.62 when you when you put it in your normal calculator, right? But what's going to happen is Java is going to keep only the the integer, the the zero part of the 0 0.62, and then drop the 0 0.62, which is not what we want in this case. So, so so this wouldn't be a good idea for you know trying to solve this. Now you can certainly um, you know figure out a way to go about this. You could you could use typecasting by you know putting a double converting at least one of them to a um, a double and then and that that'll certainly fix it. But you know, let's not go into that. Chapter two is not is not too much about that. It's about you know those, you know starting off at a very good pace and then adding the the complex stuff as we go to chapter three, chapter four, and all that stuff. So we we'll just stick with zero point six two. If you put uh, sixty two over one hundred in your calculator, it's it's zero point six two, and that means zero point six two of 4.6 million, 0 0.62 times 4.6 million. So, you know, you know, yeah, that makes sense, I think, I hope. All right. <laughs> so now we have that, and then we're just going to say, we can, we can actually go ahead, since we have the 4.6 in the variable, we can actually go ahead and, and make a, a, a print statement. So I'll just say I'll put here, and then I'll go ahead and do 16.out.print ln and then let's do this I'll just say that I just say um, 
there's so many ways you could do this. We can just type it in directly in the in the print um, method, or we can just or we can store the 62% of 4.6 in a variable and just print it out. So what I'll do is I will um, okay. I'll just I'll store it in a variable. I'll declare another variable, and I'll say. Um, you know, let me not do that. Let me not do that. I don't want to. I don't want to make it complex. I want to keep the program simple. So I'll say the East Coast Company uh, Sales Division will make um, um, let's say will make sixty-two percent. Of um, 4.6 million. I mean, this is repeating repeating the question, but I'll write it down soon. So 62% of 4.6 million, and I'll concatenate it with um, with a value. But I'm going to say which is, and then I'll put in parentheses 0 0.62 times total sales I hope it works it should okay so I mean the way the way I worded this is you know it's it's a bit weird but <coughs> you, c you can word it any way you want so basically all, all I'm trying to say is the company is going to make 62% of 4.6 million which is and this is act this is the actual calculation which is 62% of total sales now total sales is 4.6 million which is what the company makes all right I, I think I'm talking too much all right, so I'll go ahead and I'll compile this, and I'll save it in where we're keeping all our programs. Okay, just make it. Um, I'll create a new folder. And I'll save it here. Okay, so no errors. Let's run it. Oh. This is this is this is very bad. Uh, so it, the class doesn't have a. <laughs> I didn't I didn't fill out the main the main I didn't fill out the I, I didn't uh, fill out the argument in the main method. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. So string. That's dumb. Right. Well, you know, it happens you know, once in a while. So that's fine. Okay, so I'll compile it and it's, it still compiles. Let's run it again and see. Okay, so this time it works and it says the East Coast sales division will make 63% of 4.6 million, which is 28520. I need to space it out a little bit. So I'll put one space here and then I'll put basically that's it. Just put a dollar sign here to make it look good. And I'll compile it and I'll run it. So which is <coughs> 2,852,000. Now certainly you can go ahead and convert this to real currency so we can have you can have the commas in there. But this program works. This program works. If you punch in 62% of 4.6 million, you're going to get 2,852,000. So that, that that that's it. <coughs> the most important thing is just trying to do this calculation and understanding that this 0 0.62 is the same as 62% times means you know it basically means off and then this is your value the total sales which we we stored in the variable total sales so that's it it wasn't too hard actually just a few lines of code for a program that looks complex so so yeah so that's good it's just done it's just done if you have any questions again let me know and Again, you know, sorry for the program being, I mean, the, the video being a bit rough, but you get the idea. We've solved it and you get the idea. So, again, thanks again. If you have any questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer them. All right. Have a good day.